Ah, you may want to know what I'm doing. I am here in Michigan right now. See that? That's a jerk bait, right? We're going to throw jerk baits in these marinas from shore, maybe a tube, swim bait, or whatever, whatever it takes to catch some big smallmouth. But for Tony, the guy who's shooting the camera, we got him a bobber and a night crawler versus a jerk bait. What do you think is going to win? Hey guys, so this week's video, I'm up here in Northern Michigan, um, and we're gonna be fishing for smallmouth bass, trout, steelhead, whatever we can catch. We might put the boat in here in the marina in a little bit, but we're gonna start off in the marinas here because you never know what you can catch in here. You can catch um, big smallmouth, um, large mouth we've caught out of here, steelhead, brown trout, just throwing jerk baits, throwing swim baits. Um, you, walleye season happens to be open here right now. You can keep one walleye per person where we're gonna be fishing here today. Um, pike's closed, you gotta let the pike go here. So, uh, but we're catching release, fishing for bass, see what happens. Gonna start from shore, throwing jerk baits. Here we go, the meet down, beat down, smack down, crack down begins right now. All right, so here's what I'm doing. I'm actually going using a uni to uni knot. And I know there are quite a few pike and stuff like that. So when I'm throwing a jerk bait here, I'm using FC Sniper. I'm using 16 pound or 14 pound fluorocarbon leader. Um, if there's not a lot of pike around, I'll bump down to like a 12 pound, but I like 14 or 16. And then I'm just gonna go with a jerk bait, um, a suspended rogue. And the big thing is just a long pause, reel down, long pause, little twitch, twitch, pause. We'll see if we can catch brown trout, bass, something. Here we go. I'm excited. I'm not guiding today. I am out doing a YouTube video, doing what I love. You ready, Tony? Do it. Let's fly that drone, Tony. All right, couple jerk baits, wires, scissors. Got Tony flying the drone. I'll grab the net. And we're off to catch a fish from shore. That's the plan. Will it happen? Will we catch them? I don't know. We shall see. Fish on, Tony, fish on. Fish on. Is it a big one? That is the question. Is it a big one? First fish from shore. What's it gonna be? How big? Oh, not bad. Not a bad one. Here he comes. Nice little pike. All right. Fishing for bass, walleyes. Pike, small mouth, large mouth, whatever we can catch. Oh, he ate it good too. I need the net. Tony's coming with the net. I don't want to lose a bait. Yeah, he's got it head first. Little guy. All right. How oh, did he eat that bait? There he goes. See you later, Pike. He fine. He fine. I caught one. I caught one. I caught one. There you go. First fish from shore. Hey, let's fish here five more minutes up and down here. If we don't get anything, let's just launch the boat, take a few casts in here, and we'll just fish in the boat. Okay? Let's do it. Let's go. There he is, fish. Yep. Yeah, feels pretty good. Took drag right away. I got a loose drag. All right, we might be onto something. This one feels heavy. Fish number two. What do we got here? He got me in weeds. 
Oh man, it's got me in weeds. Another pike. It's all right, number two. Take it from shore. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, he's Number two from shore. Pike are such a cool fish. Now we're here, what I'm doing is, we're, we're in these little marinas. All of your marinas, your river mouths, your harbors, they all warm up first. So you can come in here and you can throw a jerk bait. The reason I like a jerk bait is because you can catch um, everything. Everything eats a jerk bait, everything eats a paddle tail or a rattle bait. So if you're in here fishing for bass or trout, um, even where we're at here, walleye's open. You can fish for walleye, so everything eats a jerk bait. Pike are eating it, so we're letting all the pike go. We're letting all the fish go, though. But fishing a jerk bait, long pause. Pop, pop, long pause. They're eating it on the pause. Good thing these ain't just, we, maybe we should do a, a YouTube page, walks and talks. That way it don't involve fishing. And we could do that video, walks and talks. So you'd be probably great at it. You just walk a lot, talk a lot, cause there ain't no, and you could bring your pole cause there ain't no fish catching. But let, let's do that YouTube page next week. Okay? Tony T walks and talks a lot. You just look it up. One of our baits fell out. This is a technique that doesn't work. It just kind of makes you look like you are pretending to do something after your line just fell out 100 yards behind the boat. All right, guys, so we're just rolling up here. With, what I like about coming up here to Michigan here or Menominee River right on the edge of Wisconsin, Michigan, is you can launch your boat right here. And you got several rivers and several river mouths that you can access here going north and south. And one thing to remember as a rule of thumb is the smallmouth come in just like the walleyes. They come in pre-spawn. They stage usually at the river mouths right when the water temps are anywhere from 45 to probably 52 degrees then they work their way up so right now hopefully we're going to find some pre-spawn smallies staging in the river otherwise we're going to go cruise around in the bay look shallow look for warm water look for where the wind is blowing look for fish here we go giant it's a giant it's a giant That's a giant. That yeah, is. Yeah. Yeah. That's a big one. Yeah, right here. Get it. Yes. Yes, yeah, keep right in the water. Yes, brother. Hell yeah. yeah. That's cool. Find the warmer water. Find the fish. That's pushing. Uh, uh. That's pushing six, bro. Look. That is a hog. <laughs> First fish yeah. of the day, too. Yep. All right. Let's get a quick wait. Five. Five six. You called it. Yep. Five six. Five six. Five five and a half pounder. First fish. Found the dirty water. Find the fish. Let's freaking go. On the hot rod, guys. On the hot rod. Throwing light tackle stuff. Light rod. Match the hatch, baby. Yes. All right, here we go, guys. So, caught a couple pike from shore. Made the move. Look at that right there. First fish. Guarantee, let's measure. This is probably 20. I'm saying almost 21, I'll say 20 and a half. Close the mouth. Yeah, 21 inches, guys. That fish is a 21 inch smallmouth right there. That's a big fish, just shy of six pounds. 
All right, I'm going to get a quick pick and get her back. Get back in the water. See you later, buddy. Oh, yeah, there he goes. That was awesome. Just one thing to remember if you're going to come out here on the Great Lakes, um, a lot of times when you get big wind, big waves, you can kind of get aggressive. When I mean aggressive, you can catch them on square bills, rattle baits, umbrella rigs, um, big, big swim baits, five, six inch swim baits, glide baits. And then when you get these conditions like this now where it's flat calm, that's where sometimes the jerk bait, the finesse bait, the hair jig, the, can, the Canadians came down really and, and taught all of us how to fish hair because those guys, all you Canadians, dialed, dialed finesse fishermen, the, some of the best fishermen like Gussie and the Johnson brothers. Man, you want to learn something? You fish against those guys or you, or you watch those guys fish. So conditions like this, I've learned that you want to finesse fish, you know, light stuff like, you know, um, a one tenth ounce jig or three thirty second ounce hair jig. That's what we're going to be doing today. Finesse fishing, smallmouth. Here, Mr. Smallmouth. Man, what a beautiful day, hey? Mm -hmm. Calm, warm, warming trend, just kind of one of the rare rare days i had a choice today the choice was well i had a customer cancel and i could have booked a trip oh my god did i just get hammered there dude we're gonna have to go back and watch that i think i just got hammered when i was talking to you i think my rod tip just went bloom anyway so i had the choice choice to um work or try to do a youtube video and nice thing, I just love fishing and learning, so it's hard for me when I'm guiding to learn a lot of new bodies of water. So we're just exploring, running around, trying to shoot YouTube videos, teaching you guys pre-spawn smallmouth, you know, finesse fish them with little swim baits, spy baits, hair jigs, tube jigs. That's the finesse game. When it's calm, sometimes you gotta finesse them. There he is. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big, big, big smallmouth. That's what we came here for. Oh yeah, that's a big smallmouth. Please be a big smallmouth. Be a big, please don't be a walleye. No, oh yeah, nice smallmouth. Let's freaking go. Heck yes. That's why we come up here. I don't need as big as I thought. It's all right. I'll take them. Finesse fish and big smallmouth. That's nice fish though. Still nice fish. Sure. I'll just lift them up real quick. guy little baby it's all right it's still fun there he is yep nice big one Feels like another nice big fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Coming up. Nope, little guy. Man, I'm getting fooled here. Maybe since I haven't been bass fishing as much. I've, I've, I do like my drama though, with uh, get a little overexcited. I'll take it though. Tug is the drug. Okay, little guys, it's all right. Couple little ones, one big one. We're in trouble though. You gotta find find the big ones. One thing is a lot of times if you can find the females, the big females will be all, all together. And if you find a bunch of males, you'll find a lot of small males together. So, so 
sometimes it'll be a lot of fun. You can catch a lot of small males in one area. There'll be hundreds of them, but you gotta move if you wanna find the big females. They might be out a little deeper, up a little shallower, but when you start finding those big ladies, oh Lord, the dance club is about to go off with Captain. Oh, the dudes, now get me away from all these little dudes. We want the big mamas, right Tony? Right. Big mamas, here we go. There he is. Biggin. Biggin. Yeah. Yep. Biggin. That's a biggin. That's a big one. It's a big one. That's why we came here. Oh, yeah. You just gotta love finesse fishing. Big Great Lakes five pound smallmouth. It's a five pounder right there. My second one over five. All right. That's another five pounder. Just finesse fishing. I call it like painfully slow, painfully light. So you need a light rod to kind of balance what you're throwing. That's why I designed this. This is our prototype rod. We're in the process of building these hot rods right now, guys. And with the supply chain, it just it's taking us forever. Plus. Um, you know, the, these are specialized rods. We're going to make maybe 200 at a crack. Specialized, like finesse fishing for smallmouth. That's why I'm, we built this rod. So paired up with a, a light, light reel here. I got the old Pisky Fun reel and 10-pound uh, braid, 10-pound fluorocarbon leader, finesse fish, far whip that cast. Anytime you, you make that cast, you want to hear that, that whip. And you know if you're hearing that whip, you're throwing it. See that? Look at his mouth. It's a little messed up just like mine. All right, we're just gonna get him back. It's not that big. Not bad though. Five pounder, four pounder. We're gonna just keep moving across here. I'm just using live scope. And when I see three, there are little pods of them I see. I'm looking for a big pod of them. Then we should be able to beat up on them cast after cast. We've got one of the BT fishing go to the link in the bio bt fishing these are made up in canada um, by bruce um, and sold out lake of the woods or btfishing.com we're going to pair that up with a, a key tag now there's a lot of different key tags you can use you can use a 2.8 fat a 3.3 fat when it's rough a 4.8 fat you can use the skinnies 3.0 3 3.3 the the um you can use the easy minnow even so a lot of these swim baits work great and what you do is you take that paddle tail, right? Swim bait, any swim bait. Just going to thread that on. I'm going to go right to the plastic about right here. Okay. And then you're going to grab a little bit of super glue gel because you want to kind of preserve is these swim baits are not cheap guys. Keytex not a sponsor of mine. These are, we get all these jigs, buy them all. These are just awesome jig heads for small mouth. A lot of tournaments have been won by Gussie and other guys using these. Just going to kind of push that on there, snug that up like that, right? And there you go. Want that running right out of the back. Bomb that out. It's nice and slow retrieve. That's an eighth ounce jig head. You're going to want a series of different ones for different conditions. The eighth ounce, um, the 16th ounce, when it's calm like this. And then when it's really rough, maybe a three eighths, three eighths ounce. So different size hooks, um, check them out. Smeltinator, jig head, they're the bomb. Yep. Yep. Not bad. Three pounder? No. There they are. There they are, right here. Yep, right in front of me, right here. 60 feet right here. Is 
should be able to get one of those to go. Yep, there he is. Just gonna say these. Oh, that's a good fish. Is it? Yeah, that's a good one. Nice. Yeah, nice big smaller. Nice big smaller. Oh, my favorite fish. Finesse fishing them up. Tough conditions. Big, big smallmouth. Uh, that's another nice fish. That's a five pounder. Real close. Real close. Come here, big boy. We're going to let you go. Saw them on live scope. Just casted to them. Oh boy. Yes, there we go. So all I was doing is I just, I mean, we're in, I don't know, three and a half feet of water. The key. When the bite gets tough, you bust out a sandwich. We went shallow, three and a half feet of water. Saw a couple of fish right out here, like 60, 70 feet. I hit spot lock right now. Now I'm gonna use a live scope in the back. We're gonna pan out here and just try to keep picking them away because you gotta make long casts. Otherwise, these, when these fish are shallow, otherwise they spook. A lot of times after you catch two or three fish, you'll even bust up the school. The school will start to move. Just a typical four pounder, you know? Nice fish, not a giant. I'll get a pick if I get one that's five or six or seven. All right, see you later. We'll let him go right here. See you later, buddy. Here they are. There he is. Come on over here. Oh, big small one. Big small one. Oh yeah. Nice four pounder. Yeah, yeah, all right. All right, we're gonna get him back. There he is, ooh. Big walleye, big walleye, big giant walleye. Giant walleye in three feet of water, dude. Oh my God is right. Three feet of water, 30 inch walleye. Look at this, just shaking his head. Oh my God. Just hand me that net. All right. Look at this. Ooh, 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 ooh. 30 inch walleye in three feet of water on a jerk bait. I just switched it up and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna try a jerk bait. Even though it's really flat calm, a lot of times long, long pause can trigger a bite man dude turn it up to be a beautiful day and a beautiful meat down bake down smack down crack down wow do a quick bump all right guys we'll bump it real quick close his mouth there we go just over 27 inches a little bit of blue in the tail there you go look at that 27 and a quarter inch walleye let's get that Bad girl back. There she goes. See you later, you lizard gator. There he is. Good one. Not bad. Big smallmouth. Big smallmouth. Yup, it's a big one. Big smallmouth. This is what we came here for, bro. Look at this, another five pound right here. Look, look. Giant, giant. Oh, that's a toad. Oh, that's a toad. Shallow, skinny water. Big, big, big ones. Oh, yeah. Come on, come on, come here, come here. You big fat mama. Oh, yeah. Come here. Yes, yes, dude. That's probably six. 
I'm saying five, just over five. But it's just super fat. Look at that girth. Look at that. Look at the girth on that thing. Is that awesome or what? Chow and swim baits, guys. Finesse fishing. Flat calm. My favorite thing to do right there. Big spring pre-spawn smallmouth bass. Heck yeah, I'm gonna get a quick pick and get this one back. Shooting another YouTube video right now, guys. Catching giant smallmouth pre-spawners. Let that big mama go. Come here, there she goes. That was awesome. Man, it's been so much fun coming out here. We finally had a day. We got good weather. We had to move around though. We definitely ran around from spot to spot. Once we found this big bay in here with warmer, darker water, that's where the fish were. They're even sitting up on the sand. So you find sand, wood, and rock, warm water, big smallmouth. All right, guys, I am grabbing the keys. Time for us to wrap up another video. We put the meat down, beat down, smack down, crack down on them today. It's kind of tough conditions though. Flat, calm, and sunny. And we talked to a few other boats that actually the bite was really, really tough for a lot of guys that we talked to. So just remember if you get these sort of conditions when you come out here on Green Bay or anywhere when it's sunny and calm, go finesse mode, go hair jig, spy bait, little swim baits like a key tech, stuff like that, or even a jerk bait under tough, tough condition. Leave me a comment. What is your PB Smalley? And uh, that's it. Time to go get some chow. Wrap it up. Thank you, Tony. See ya.